Hi, I'm Layla, and this is Zero 101 Woodland for Grey, and today I'm going to go through how to run a fixed asset reconciliation and troubleshoot any errors. So to start with, you want to find the fixed asset reconciliation report. So you click on accounting, I have it starred, so it's here. But if you click on reports, scroll down to financial statements and fixed asset reconciliation here. I'm going to run it for this financial year and click update. Now, as you can see in both computer equipment and office equipment, there are differences to the cost and the book value. And so we need to find these differences. First thing I'm going to do is go to the fixed assets page. So accounting and down to fixed assets. Now you'll see here there is a computer equipment item with a price of 6,500, which was what was listed as the asset register value. However, there's also an item for £1,250 for an Apple computer. So I'm going to click into that. As you'll see, that was the difference. So you can delete the item if it was incorrectly added as a fixed asset item, or you will need to add the invoice onto the system. So I'm going to do that by clicking plus and bill. We purchased it from Apple on the 2nd of November and it was an Apple computer with a price of £1,250 which I'm going to code to computer equipment. I don't have the invoice so I can't claim the VAT. I'm then going to click approve. If I then go back to my fixed asset reconciliation and update you'll see that adding that invoice in has meant that the balance sheet matches the asset register and so there's no difference within computer equipment anymore. Now I need to find the difference within office equipment, which is where there seems to be more invoices going to office equipment than what we have in the asset register. So to find these differences, I'm going to go back to the fixed assets and you can see here, I've got 12,000 pounds for a photocopier in office equipment, but I'm missing a thousand pounds. So I'm going to go to accounting and account transactions. I'm going to search for the office equipment nominal and this financial year. As you can see here, there's an additional invoice for a thousand pounds, which isn't in the asset register. And so we need to make sure that that fixed asset gets registered. So if I go back to my fixed assets page, I can click on plus new asset, give it a name. It was a coffee table for the reception area. Purchase price of £1,000 and it's a type of office equipment. Make sure that depreciation is all correct and add. So that's now been registered. So if I come back to my fixed asset reconciliation and click update, you'll see there are now no differences and we have solved all of the errors that we're currently showing. And that's how you run the fixed asset reconciliation report and troubleshoot any errors. Thanks for watching 0101 Will Infra Grey. If you like this video, keep an eye out for more videos coming up in this series.